All right, what's going on everybody? It's Smitty back with another video. Today we have something a little bit different. So what I'm actually gonna be doing today is doing a live walkthrough of me installing add-ons onto my Minecraft on Xbox, just to show everyone that it still works. Maybe I'll run into some problems and then show you how I get past those problems. But for those of you who don't know, the reinstall method that like everyone is having issues with only works for people that are in the Delta Xbox Insider tier or higher. Now I'm actually in the Omega rank only, but it is Sunday, and that means that one of the surveys that you can take should have reset. So if I go into the Xbox Insider app right here, and I go over to the things that I can do, I should be able to get 5 XP under the activities. Please be available. There should be a survey available or something. There it is. The weekly pulse has reset. So what's going to happen when I take this like survey right here is that my account is actually going to get to level 2. Right there, I have 15 XP and I need 20 XP. I've been in the program for a year and four months, but I've never done any of these surveys or anything so I haven't even reached level 2 and to get Delta I need to be level 2 have 20 XP and be in the program for at least a month so I'm gonna go ahead and take this weekly pulse right here and this will get me to level 2 and then I should be able to get add-ons after that how many Xbox games do you own not including game pass titles honestly it's definitely fewer than 20 if you own over a hundred plus games you are ridiculous but I'm gonna go fewer than 20 and there we go that is the weekly pulse very simple that should give me five Five XP and we are now level two. That's my longest streak. Two days, nice. So we leveled up, and what that means is that we should be able to become a Delta member now. So if I go to my profile, level two, I got my surveys done, and we're on that two-week streak. So now what happens is if I go up to previews right here, I go over to the Xbox update preview. I can go over to the left side. Actually, no, it's right here in the middle, not the left side. It's in the middle info. Go down to manage. And once inside of manage, I should be able to go to the Delta or maybe not. How do I join the Delta group? This is why I thought this video could be helpful to people because honestly, I should be able to join Delta, but I'm not sure how. So I'm going to have to go look it up and do a little bit of problem solving. But let's figure out how to get into the Delta Insider group. I'm going to start by just restarting the app. Maybe that'll reset it. It's just usually weird things like this that'll fix all of those little issues. But like I said, we just have to get into that Delta program because then I'll be able to do the reinstall method again right here. So if I go down to announcements as opposed to info, maybe this console is in preview. I can press on that go so I'm gonna manage my enrollment right here I should have the Delta I think I honestly am not sure where I'm going here but manage oh there it is as you can see the Delta is now available for me so instead of going to that one place I went to the other place and now we have the Delta preview so that's how you join Delta once you've reached level 2 and you're in the program for at least a month I can select that and press save and we are now a Delta member let's go it's gonna say pending for a little bit but it basically takes like two minutes and then we will be in Delta oh there we go so I think we just had it if I go into manage right now it should say that I'm a part of Delta maybe there we go Delta is now selected and that's perfect now I don't think that I'll be able to do the reinstall method right away so I have the special minecraft right here i press on it it says it needs an update i don't think this will work this is the special version of minecraft right here and okay so we still have the installation stopped issue correct so i'm gonna go ahead and press cancel on that i'm gonna clear the queue now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually go over to the settings and i'm gonna look for a system update oh oh now i got kicked offline oh there it is okay so i got kicked offline and now it's gonna start a console update. It did that completely on its own, but this is the console update that you need after you join Delta, and this will fix the reinstall method for me. Let's start this update. This is actually really exciting. Okay, so the update is 100% done, and when it finished, it just brought me back to my home screen. And what this means is that now I should be able to update this Minecraft. If for some reason your Xbox doesn't automatically update, what I was going to do was go into my settings here, go down to system, and then go to updates right here, and then I would have seen the latest console update in here, but it updated automatically. I literally just like closed the Insider Hub, and it just started itself. But what this means is that it should be fixed now. I should be able to update this special version of Minecraft. Is it gonna work? This is what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> this is such a big moment. So much anticipation. Here it goes. There it goes, guys. It is installing. So this special version of Minecraft works. 
The only issue is that I have absolutely zero add-ons installed. So now what we have to do is go ahead and implement our add-ons into expansion for explorers, and then I'll redo this reinstall method, and it should work for us perfectly. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Microsoft Edge, and I think that the pack I'm gonna use today is actually Poggy's Luminous Dreams, because that's a very popular shader pack, and I'm gonna go through the whole process of getting Poggy's Luminous Dreams, and honestly, I might encounter some issues along the way, so maybe I'll have to solve those, and it can be interesting for people because I've never actually shown anybody like raw footage of me just downloading stuff. It's always been like highly edited with music in the background and stuff. But today we'll run into issues and we'll see how we get past those. Poggies shader. <laughs> I'm just going to enter it in just like that into the search engine and then it should automatically take me right here. It's always the top result. A very popular pack here from Poggy. So we're going to download that one. Go to the installation and there it is. These are the links download the base pack that's the one that we want and it's going to take me to boostella right here now a lot of people have issues with this boostella website so it's probably good that i picked an add-on that takes me to this website right here you guys will see it this one the notorious like purple pink website right here which honestly i don't know why so many people have issues getting past this website so what you have to do is just press on where it says click on add go to where it says visit page right here oh Oh, okay, okay, okay. With so many things are going on right now, the site has been reported as unsafe. Go to more info. Go to continue to the unsafe site. Not secured. Uh, I think Poggy might have to update his links, to be honest. Here, press on unlock content. That won't work. Unlock content. Uh, oh, okay. So I just literally pressed on unlock content a couple of times and it worked. That's why like the weirdest things fix issues. I have no idea what I just did guys. Literally just pressed on unlock content twice. And here we are. We have the download page. <laughs> so I'm going to copy the URL at the top right here. I copy that whole URL. Then I'm going to go over here to expansion for explorers. Okay. Once we're here, we're going to press on that. Then we're going to go up here to the top. It's literally like rocket science downloading add-ons on Minecraft Xbox. It's kind of ridiculous to be honest, but as long as it works, I'm happy. So, okay. We'll update that. And then it should take us right there. And expansion for explorers does allow downloads. So that blue download button will work. Maybe. If it lets me press it, so many buggy just issues and stuff. Come on. There we go. So we got Poggy's pack downloading and that is perfect. Automatically takes you right here. Here's the MC pack that we want. So we're going to press on that. We're going to go to where it says copy file. We're going to go over to the packages folder and I should already have my Microsoft.Minecraft folder made right here. A lot of times people don't have this made so you actually have to make it yourself. But I can press on that. Go to local state games, com.mojang, go into the resource packs and there is our resource pack. We got the console shader actually. Okay, so we got one other pack and then we have Poggy's Luminous streams and there we go we now have our add-on imported and now we have to do the notorious reinstall method one more time so because i added a new add-on right there i have to uninstall the current minecraft that i have and now we're gonna go get that special spongebob version from the store which hopefully ooh, update the microsoft store I'm going to go ahead and update the Microsoft Store all the way. In the past, if you updated the Microsoft Store, it would break the reinstall method, but I think we should be safe to do it here just because the console update fixed it. So I'm going to update the store and the reinstall method should still work afterwards. Oh my God, I'm such a Gen Z right now. I'm literally losing patience waiting for the Microsoft Store to update. It's It's been like not even a minute and I'm already losing patience. Dude, our generation is cooked, but I'm just going to go back into the Microsoft Store. I'm going to skip the update. I'm pretty sure it'll work once it updates. But we're going to go ahead and type in Spongebob right here, and we're going to get that Spongebob add-on downloading. Okay, I had to pull a few strings here, but it should start installing on its own right now. My Xbox One is very old and buggy and slow, but it still gets the job done nonetheless. So here's step one of the reinstall method. We get that Spongebob version installing onto our device. 44 minutes! Oh my god, my patience is being put to the test here. That is a rip to the Wi-Fi, though. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the first step of the reinstall method done. There we go, that is done. Sorry, I'm messing with my mic right now. Okay, so we got the special version of Minecraft installed. Now what we have to do is update this special version and because we're in that Delta preview version, it will work for us and then we'll have our mods. Let's see if this all goes to plan. All right, perfect. We got that. It'll appear in our recently installed. We're going to press on that, go to where it says update, and that will begin the update. And for the majority of players, this step won't work. But because we did the thing, we're level two, it will not give us the installation stopped issue. Okay, there it goes. Sweet. So this update actually does not take very long for me. 
and it's working, which is a very good sign. I'm pretty confident this is all gonna work perfect. All right, there we go. We got the update done, which is sweet. These two Minecrafts right here should combine now. And after they combine, I should be able to launch Minecraft. There we go. It'll open up and we now have the modded version of Minecraft. So my console shader pack should appear and also the Poggy's Luminous Dreams pack should appear. Pop up dialogue. All right, we're gonna turn off the screen reader. That's honestly kind of turn annoying. But now that we have that turned off, I'm gonna go to the settings. I don't know how loud the game volume is, honestly. I'm just gonna assume it's not too bad. I did not do an audio check. But if we go down to our global resource packs, as you can see under here, we have Poggy's Luminous Dreams and the console shaders. We are playing custom modded Minecraft in 2024. I'm gonna apply the console shaders really quick. Okay, loading into the server. Let's take a look. And there it is. Actually, I don't think it worked because the leaves aren't moving also. So I'm wondering if like the server packs are overruling my custom texture pack right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave and then maybe I'll try out a different server. Okay, entering into Cubecraft. And as we can see on Cubecraft now, the sky barrier is working. My custom texture pack is working. So has the hive done something where they don't allow texture packs anymore? I'm not sure. I don't think I'll troubleshoot that this video. The main thing to know is that my pack is now working on Cubecraft. So I'm not sure what's going on with the hive. I might have to look into that and find a fix. But let me know if you guys have custom texture packs. Do they work on the hive? As you can see, Cubecraft is working perfect. So there is my custom texture pack working on a server in 2024. But there is one last thing that I want to do, and that is actually play with shaders on Minecraft Bedrock on Xbox. So what I'm gonna do is go to create new world. I'm gonna go down to where it says experiments right here, and I'm just gonna turn all of these. Actually, I don't think, yeah, I don't have the experiment in here, but I'm gonna just turn on all these experiments because, you know, shaders are an experiment. So I turn all these on just like this. Then what I'm going to do after that is go over to my resource packs and I'm going to activate that Poggy's Luminous Dreams on the right side. So we do that, go to Poggy's Graphics Pack, just like that, perfect. And then we're not even going to launch the world. It should work if I just apply it. So there we go, we got Poggy's Luminous Dreams applied. We're now going to quit regular Minecraft and we're going to go ahead and find Minecraft Preview, which I might not even have installed. There it is, perfect. So we got Minecraft Preview and we're going to launch that. And of course, Minecraft Preview has an update. So let's get that updating. As you can see, things just never go to plan. Expect there to be a bunch of issues. Expect you just to take a little bit of time here to always get add-ons. It's just a very confusing process. There are so many steps. All right, so we are now finally in Minecraft Welcome Preview Minecraft. after the update, after all of On the issues, device. syncing Screen user data. That's okay. Give that a couple moments. And then the like first thing I'm gonna do is actually go into my video up, up, up. settings and make sure that I have my video settings like all the way all the way down just because these shaders are really hard on my xbox so i'm gonna go right here and i'm gonna turn like my render distance hold on first of all fov cranking that up a little bit i'm gonna go down to my render distance and just make sure that's all the way down render distance at 16 we want that literally all the way down we're going down to four or whatever the lowest setting is five that's perfect all right looks good looks good and we're gonna press on b now we're gonna go into play preview and we should be able to import our world with those shaders on them. We're gonna copy worlds from Minecraft release right here and then we should see our shader world appear after it gets done syncing the data right there, shaders 2024. That's the world that we just made. So we're gonna import that. And once that's imported, it should have Poggy's custom shader pack on and then those will work for us. So let's do that. Uh, would you like to play your world now? I'm gonna go ahead and press on no because I have to activate the experimental toggle. But there's Poggy's pack. We're gonna go into the game settings. Once inside of the game settings, we're gonna go down to where it says right there, Render Dragon uh, features for creators. We have to activate that. So we're gonna turn that on. And yes, that should be perfect. Okay, so we got our resource pack on. We got our render dragon. We should be good. Let's play preview. And I really hope the world loads. It might not work. Please, Xbox One, please load. Oh my God, guys, I've been sitting here for like 15 minutes and the bar just made progress. We're so close. <laughs> oh my God, I just got done loading. Holy crap. My screen has literally went black, guys, but it just got done loading. It literally took like 15 minutes to load into the world. One second, let me get situated. I'm situated, we should have our shaders now. I'm gonna have to tell Poggy to make a pack that is more friendly for the lower end devices. But okay, so to get our shaders to work, we go into the settings and all that we have to do is go down to video, 
Hold on, we'll let it load first. We go down to video on the left side, and please, I waited like 15 minutes for this. We should scroll all the way down. Graphics mode, we're going to turn that to deferred. And just like that, everyone, there they are. The working deferred uh, packs on Minecraft Xbox. Working on Xbox One. There it is in 2024. Had a lot of issues, but we got it working in the end. And like I said, you can install mods, skins, just anything worlds with this method. I'm going to be making videos eventually once they fix it publicly. But that is just awesome. Here I am playing with basically shader packs in 2024 on Xbox. But now I'm just going to go ahead and import as many add-ons as I want into the base game. I'm going to have fun. Hopefully y'all get these updates soon. I'll be sure to let you guys all know, by the way, when they officially release the update fix for everyone. But this is just awesome. On Xbox, working in 2024, I can't get over how cool this is.